But if they don't defend, a team secret will just keep coming. So all they can really do is just try and slide a pistol wave down. That's why Envy moves aggressively forward, making it so Smell has to play further back. He doesn't have this blink dagger, so the slide of fist goes to work. Eternal Envy. Losing a little bit of life, Fear taking it with the Decay. And now they go for more. Slide of Fist again, Weeha. Unable to find that opening with the Shackle Shot, but Envy just stands his ground. Still with the Cheese, still with the Satanic, they swap him up. Can they get the chains with the control and beat the Tier 4 Towers? Envy, he just turns on the armor, so much life. The Omni Slash actually chasing down Pylai Dai outside the base, but Eternal Envy, now he triggers the Cheese. They keep the Tombstone alive, Weeha can't get rid of it, but he's killing off Fear a little bit further up as they snowball in. Universe out of this fight, but you've still got so much to fight with. The Sign of Fist Searing Chains does take away a little bit of the life of Team Secret, and they have burned the Egg of the Immortal of Weeha, then the Cheese as well, they'll lose the melee racks, but because Team Secret have expended so much, they may not be able to keep this fight going. In fact, they probably should not, as Arteezy spins forward. Eternal Envy wants to fight him with the punch. They actually bring him down. Buyback has to come out from, from the Juggernaut, because they've already lost another. The Nice Dog is down with no buyback. Team Secret, a big opportunity for them to take two lanes of racks. Zamael need to keep this defense going. PPD has swap available. They look for the opening. No Omni Slash up. And Eternal Envy, Satanic's back off cooldown. Zamael, they start to tick through him. But the tier 3 tower is dropped. We are with the focus fire can just keep pumping it out. They'll get through the range racks as well. No searing chains, no mana for Samael. He's not ready to fight. Arteezy's still not ready to go either. This melee racks will belong to Envy. They're just not ready. DPD could potentially swap into stun. Samal comes back. Here it is. Eternal Envy. I say the shackle flies up. Only catching PPD. Eternal Envy finishes the racks and moves onto the captain of EG. DPD. The soul rip keeps him alive a little bit longer. They buy time for Samal to do his work. Misery as well as Pylai die. Pylai barely surviving his spirit jump back. Samal. He's so low. We are brings him down. The buyback has to come out. EG under siege. RTZ starts surviving under his own tier 4 tower. Oh, but Team Secret, uh, you win too deep now. That's the big question. You've already taken two lanes of practice. They need to get back out to Mal. Try and take more. There's your jump with the Spirit back out. Eternal Envy will not follow him. And Arteezy on this slash back off cooldown. No Radiant Creep Wave. This could be big for him. That's level three. This could easily be a double kill if he can just get close enough. Misery's the only one isolated. He wants Envy and Pylai die. The Radiant Creep Wave is rapidly approaching. And Arteezy, is he going to let it rip? Avoids the avalanche. Envy's still here. Does he want to do it? Pylai dies now. But the Creep Wave has arrived. They isolate Pylai die on the sidelines. He four stars up, but he'll die the Searing Chains, losing his Gemma True side. Is there a Sun? No, there's not. A total Envy gets back out again. Team Secret. They've done the damage and they get away with few casualties. That cost EG so much. I mean, the moment they had forced out the Cheese and the Aegis and only lost their middle racks, I think that's when you just calm down, you wait for bottom lane, and you try to fight there. But they kept running into Secret, trying to put as much pressure as possible, but they're so durable. And again, it was the thing that triggered the whole thing is a mistake Artesia has made earlier in this game as well. He Blade Furious to try to damage the Creed Wave. Ice Shards don't care. Block him off, get the easy kill. That's what snowballed the whole thing. That's a big upgrade. But his main problem in these fights is still that he is not strong enough that he can just stand and hit. After the Omni Slash, most of the time he'll just have to spin disengage. If he gets caught by a Shackle Shot or an Avalanche Toss, he's almost gone immediately. And now he's 100 gold away from it and he can't get it yet. He's sending out the Courier, but there's actually a Radiant of Server Ward. There's actually two Radiant of Server Wards on the spot. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to go for a snipe. There should jump in. Goes after Arteezy. The Weave hitting aggressively on Arteezy. It's about a Weave! Huge Shackle! The Swap will pull up Arteezy! But we have a finish the jump. Arteezy, no! He's protected for the moment. Surviving with a spin, he'll back out. As Team Secret, they came for kills. They have only taken the tombstone, but they've got a lot of cooldowns now out of EG. And they want to rotate top. The Radiant Creekways pushed it through mid, so they can attack into the tier 3 tower if they so desire. PPD, no swap available. The Monkey King bar now done on Arteezy. He's finally got some direct damage. But this is more than good enough for Secret to probably end the game right here. Omni Slash, Swap, and Tombstone all being on cooldown. This is a very easy siege. Well, we'll see if they can achieve it. Arteezy moving forward, that defensive weave, Secret's getting so much armor, and Envy, he just goes after Universe. Gets yeah, stunned up for the moment, but Misery, a quick follow-up. They still haven't brought down the Nine Stock, but Arteezy, defensive spin once again, the Shackle. It latches on Fear, there's no decay, and look at the damage, PPD swaps him down, but still Weeha finishes the job, PPD 
trying to run back out. So Mail side of fist, it can't do enough damage. He's cleaned up the green wave, but he can't clean up the heroes of secret. Who have now picked up a double kill in the hands of Weeha. TBD has to so wait inside the shards, but GG, EG will be knocked out of the winner's bracket final by Team Secret. The radiance now have and Team Secret advance Team themselves Secret. forward Victory. into the grand final of the of the Frankfurt Major. And these games have been so exceptionally good. I think a lot of people are expecting this to be the grand final matchup as well. It would not surprise me at all.